French bank BNP Paribas has just announced quarterly results that came in better than expected. With me to discuss the outlook for the bank and the European economy is Philippe Bordenave, Chief Operating Officer of BNP. Mr. Bordenave, does the fact your results came in better than expected mean the European economy is picking up? We, the European economy uh, went through a difficult period um, and um, I think that uh, BNP Paribas has shown its um, it, it's resilience uh, in this um, environment. It's not that much that the economy is, is, has improved during the, the, the recent period. Maybe we, have, we are seeing some uh, early signs of improvement, but uh, it will be probably f more for the second part of the year. But in the first part of the year, BNP Paribas managed to be resilient in, uh, in Europe and also to um, take advantage of some uh, better markets uh, in certain uh, geographies, like the, some emerging markets where we are operating, and also certain businesses that are faring better, like the insurance business. Um, so it's more, I would say, the, the intrinsic quality of the bank that has this shown through these results than, uh, than something else. And are you seeing the first fruits of your, of your cost-cutting drive to, to, to cut 2 billion euros of costs? Yes, we are seeing the first results, absolutely, with um, the, the total cost uh, going down uh, in spite of the little bit of inflation that is still there. Um, so it's the results of our efficiency programs, yes, simple and efficient. And it's only the beginning. And what is the outlook then for, for the rest of the year? Do you, because your profits and re revenues are still down year on year, do you, do you think there will be an increase uh, for, the, for, for the second half? Well, we don't give any indication for the second part of the year, sorry. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll do our best. We have, uh, again, I think that um, the resilience in the retail uh, in Europe should uh, well, remain. I mean, if you are resilient, you are resilient for, uh, for the long period. Um, and then, of course, um, for the rest, it's more, it's more difficult to, to anticipate. What about loan loss provisions? Because they, they have gone up so far this year. Are they expected to continue rising for the rest of the year? Um, if you look at uh, where they have gone up, this quarter, it's mostly because in the second quarter of last year we had uh, net write backs uh, in uh, corporate investment banking. That was a very specific situation. And now uh, this quarter we are at a normal level in terms of um, provisions, but, but the swing uh, is cre creating a, a big difference. And apart from that, we are seeing some deterioration in Italy as well, which is understandable, um, and, um, but, but that's it. Otherwise, um, in, in France, in Belgium, um, even in, in also in the consumer lending business, we have a remarkably stable level of cost of risk, which is due to, I would say, the, the very good quality of our franchise and also the very well-known uh, cautiousness of BNP Paribas in the, in the lending, uh, the selection of the, of the clients and the, the, the lending uh, extension. Now, uh, BNP uh, is one of the best capitalized banks in, in Europe. You describe your balance sheet as rock solid. Bank valuations are pretty cheap. Uh, is this not the best time for you to make an acquisition? Um, no, frankly, um, it's not time for acquisitions in the bank, uh, banking world. Uh, just for the very simple reason that is the, the regulation is not yet completely uh, fine-tuned and as long as you don't know the rules in detail, you, you cannot move really.